inside the block of the loop, we put a conditional. And then we put a function. And inside the block of the loop, we can also put another loop. Let's see that. I'm going to start at the top of the inside of my loop block. And what I need are all the separate pieces in order to create a loop inside this loop. So first, I need a variable that keeps track of how many times my loop is run, and then my loop itself. And I'm going to keep this condition simple for now. And I need to affect the value of my counter. And what I actually want to do inside my loop is affect the output. So I'm going to move that piece of code inside my inner loop. And let's save this and see what happens. Notice the output is two times the number I type in. And that's because the inner loop is multiplying the number of outputs that I get by two. Let's add another detail, which is that I want to demarcate when my inner loop is finished running. So. I'm going to do that by adding this onto my output when the inner loop finishes running. And this is going to give me a new line in the gray box. Let's save this and see how it looks. Notice that the output I'm getting is two rows. And that has to do with the inner loop, the number of times that the inner loop runs right here. Let's see what happens when we adjust this number to four. Now I'm going to change this number to match what's in the outer loop, which is the number that the user typed in 